Hi, uh, my name is Lenore von Stein, and this is an episode of The Facts. And I'm here tonight with Beth Griffith, Dom Manassi, um, Bern Nix, and Andrew Bolotaski. And uh, the, the episode tonight is, is, is called Gretel's Love. And the main character in the story is Gretel, and, and she's the same Gretel who survived the gingerbread house. And so at the start of this story, she's, she's, uh, she's grown and, and she's living with a lecherous man. She wonders, Gretel, if, if she isn't lecherous too, uh, but maybe um, in a more, just, you know, more civilized way than her male counterparts. She, when, when she met this man, 
um, she was looking for a temporary partner. You know, she, 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 Gretel really just wanted to be left alone. Um, but she was, you know, desperate for friends. Um, she was still in recovery from her childhood and, and the mistakes that she made post her childhood because of her childhood. Gretel, she had this, it was still very vague in her mind, this vague notion of, of finding herself and, um, and with, uh, finding someone she could be herself with. And, and, but the problem was that she wasn't sure really who herself was. She saw herself from very far, and, and, and she chose her lovers by default, uh, whoever's the least bad, you know. And, and it seemed to her what, that's what most people do, you know, because it seemed like a serious decision such a serious decision that she couldn't imagine anybody being up to it. Um. So what about Hansel? Okay, so Hansel, her brother Hansel was, he was supportive, but he was a cold guy. He was very stiff. He, he said, he didn't, he didn't say very little. 
at least to her, he didn't say very much. And so um, this was another problem. Um, <laughs> So the, the, Hansel and her, in some ways, they didn't get along because Hansel didn't like her criticizing family elders. He, he took a miss to that. And, uh, but these criticisms were central to uh, the analysis Gretel used to free herself from these, this fog in her head, these blobs of fog. So her relationship with Hansel, while it was the most important in her life, was formal. Thank you. 
Is the relationship between Gretel and and this itchy boyfriend of hers? Uh, these there is a sort of just the, the the grace of the dynamics, the melodic line of the dynamics between them, and that it sort of it arced. It went from indifference, more or less indifference towards each other, to a kind to affection pretty quickly, then it took a really long time, gradually moved to some love, then it it, 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 the, the melody line went down again into uh, despair <laughs> until they went their separate hurt ways. later, Gretel woke up. She woke up for the first time in this, in, in a flat in the forest, and there were gentle trees and soft ground, and, and she had a revelation that so much of her life had been eaten up by her childhood. <laughs> oh. 
so much of your adult life. I did that because of what happened to me as a kid, and I did that because of what happened to me as a kid, and I did that because of what happened to me as a kid, and I did that because of what happened to me as a kid, and I said that because of what happened to me as a kid, and I picked that person because of what had happened to me as a kid. I did all of this because of what had happened to me. She was angry. Was that a problem? Uh, what would be gotten or lost by hailing this anger, by kissing it? Maybe that's what she was doing. How could she tally the results? Do the alternatives work? Uh, which ones? How long? Details. Let's go straight into losing weight. Lying under this tree, engrossed, worried about whether she should get up, write a book, get a job, you know, lose weight, find herself, her nature. The heck was survival. 